Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes, this is from uh, Stillwater Artisanal Ales, they're out of Baltimore, Maryland. This is Cellar Door, American Farmhouse Ale, a uh, wheat ale brewed with white sage. So 6.6% uh, ABV on this one guys, and it's a big bottle too. Uh, I have I could probably let this uh, let this cellar just a little while longer, but this was last summer's uh, uh, farmhouse. Uh, it came out last summer. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the fridge. Like I said, we're we're purging the fridges, and we might not end up with five fridges when I get done. We might end up with just one or two. So we'll see how this ends. I'm not gonna have all these old beers get pushed back in there. And um, one of my subs said, maybe you're just buying too much. Maybe I am buying too much beer. So. Uh, uh, we're going to try to narrow it down a little bit and, and get it down where we can get a handle on it and not have so many of these old beers. Like I said, it may be a boring month because, uh, like I said, I'm going to get all these older beers, uh, especially uh, the 6% and less ABV beers out of the fridge unless they're, unless they're fresh right out right out of the, the brewery, guys. So, uh, these, I've never had anything from these guys here, so uh, uh, we'll find out what they're about. And they come with very high marks. Food pairings for this. Cuisine is curry, Thai, the cheeses are earthy camembert, fontina, your nuttier cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, uh, your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola, Limburger. The uh, meat for this is poultry, fish, and shellfish, glass for a pint, Becker, sign a mug, a tulip, oversized vinyl glass. I could have used a Duval glass just as well for this guy, so uh, I chose the pint glass for this one. And I don't think there's anything else. Uh, the notes on this, it says... Uh, over the ages, the term cellar door has uh, numerously been referred to as the most beautiful term in the English language. Upon setting out to create the first summer edition to the stateside lineup of ales, the feeling that almost instantly came to me was that the beauty and cleansing. Many summer offerings tend to lack the complexity of their bigger, colder season counterparts, and my goal was to craft a nail of extreme balance with a delicate complexity that allows for contemplation while also providing quaffable refreshment. Starting with a base of German wheat and pale malts, this crisp, slightly hazy foundation was then accented with a blend of sterling and citra hops, providing the intricate blend of herbal grass and tangerine citrus flavors and aroma. To pull this all together and complete the cleansing aspect of my new vision, I gently finished the ale off with a touch of white sage, lending a mildly earthy spice character to the blend. Of course, let's not forget our house has on yeast that brought all the elements together, leaving a dry yet intricate finish. So, let's see what kind of cap is on this bad boy. I can get in here or not. Let's see if I can get in here. It's got some kind of, almost just like a wine bottle cap on here, guys. And it has a regular bottle underneath there. So. Guys, as you see the yellow opener, uh, the box of openers came today, the new openers, and I'm going to be doing a video of them and posting that ASAP. So, uh, let's get this in the glass. Wow, look at, the, look at the head on that thing. All right. <laughs> and you see how easy I poured that, too. You got us a good three-finger head. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Very carbonated beer. And the color is a very golden color. Other than the monster head, it looks like a macro lager in a glass. Let's get a nose on it. Definitely got the 
the Saison pump going on. The barnyard smell. Got a very good, got a very strong grapefruity smell going in there too. But I do get the tangerine and there is always an earthy smell to the Saisons to me. Uh, has that musty dirt smell. And that was very tempting. Uh, the first time I, I drank one of these and smelt one of them I was going, whoa. But they are uh, rather uh, delicious. So, cheers everybody. delicious. Again, pears, apples, tangerine, grapefruit. And there, I am getting the sage. That would be a delicious summer beer. Very nice and refreshing. 6.6% .6 ABV on this one. Not extremely heavy, but I wouldn't want to drink this whole thing in the middle of the day, that's for sure. Be a very nice one to share around with two or three. Wow. Very nice uh, beer. Got the funk going on too, boy. Wow, I like that. Probably not the right time of year to be drinking a summertime Saison, but it is what it is, and we're purging the fridge, guys. We're going to let uh, this warm up just a little bit and let the other half taste it and see what she thinks of it. I'm sure she'll probably enjoy it. Very nice beer, guys. Uh, I believe it's an A beer. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. And a lot of tropical notes with this beer. I mean, it's got a lot of mango and tangerine and like I said I'm getting apples and pears very delicious beer very very delicious beer I don't show it guys now that it's warmed up you get the sage and it's got a nice peppery taste to me wonderful beer guys it's uh, very delicious <laughs> I, uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit. I've never had anything from these people before. They do a pretty good job. Uh, and I'm not really big into the uh, the farmhouse uh, or the Saison ales or anything, but uh, this was the, this was pretty tasty. Uh, if you've had this, give me some comments back on this, and or or if you have it, uh, pop a cap on it and drink it. And let me know what you think. Or if you've got it cellaring, I don't know how long I would sell this one. Uh, 6.6 percent. I would say it's going to keep for a year or so anyway. So with that being said, guys, give me some comments back on this and I think it's very delicious uh, for the style. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I, I can't find any fault with it. Uh, very tasty. Great beer. Comes up. Oops, there it went. Beer Advocate comes up with 92, which is in their exceptional range. And Rate Beer comes up with 98 overall and 100 in the style. So, pretty impressive numbers all around there, guys. And uh, it could just as well easily be a 10. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that think this beer is probably a 10 uh, that are into the Saison and this type of beer. So, I'm not, actually not, and I enjoyed it. So, it's pretty tasty. I wish I'd had it back a, a little earlier, though. But it cellared well, and I thought it was very delicious. So, uh, with that being said, guys, you give me some comments back on this one. And let's take a look in the fridge and see if we find one just as good as this tomorrow. This is, I thought it was going to be a little on the older side and not too good, but got us an A beer on, got us an A beer for an older beer. So this one's solid well, guys. We got lucky. Let's look in the fridge tomorrow and see if we get lucky again. See you then.